everybody, welcome. Today we're up in beautiful Mount Charleston getting some nice mountain air. And I'd like to thank two people for recommending some great lenses. First, I wanna uh, thank Baz T for recommending the Samsung 30 millimeter F2, which it would, I would not have gotten if it wasn't for him. Really small lens, I love it. And also to Mark, M-A-R-C, whatever the rest of your name is, for recommending the 75 millimeter Micro Four Thirds uh, F1.8 from Olympus. This is on a Panasonic G7, and today I'm shooting, of course, with my favorite Samsung NX500. I, uh, you'll notice this one's white. The other one that I showed you is brown. That's because I have three of these. I love them so much. It's got a bigger, better sensor than the 6400. It doesn't have an eye, a viewfinder, but it takes such beautiful pictures. I can't help but take this thing with me. It also weighs half as much. And look how small that lens is. This is a 30 millimeter APS-C, which is comparable to a 50 millimeter full frame. It weighs nothing. It's so tiny and it's a pancake lens. It's, I got a black one too. I like this lens so much, I got two of them. Here's a black one, here's a white one. I got to get a white one to match my white camera. <laughs> but the reason I wouldn't have got this in the first place is because it's a pancake lens. They're so flat, and they normally don't have any d depth of field. Like everything's in focus. There's no, and I like blurry backgrounds. Um, but this one does. It has a nice blurry background. So we're going to take some shots today with these lenses just for the hell of it to show how great they are. They're, they're um, Two good lenses. I wouldn't have had them if it wasn't for you guys, so that's what this community is all about. So let's go take some pictures and uh, see what they're like. Here we go. So let's start with the 75 1.8, which fits on any Micro Four Thirds camera. I added an ND filter so I could shoot in bright sunlight, and of course my flash cue, the world's smallest flash trigger. For a flash, I used my Godox AD200. A 75mm Micro Four Thirds lens is equivalent to a 150mm full frame lens, which is quite telephoto, so you're going to get some really nice, creamy, blurry, bocalicious backgrounds with this one. Unlike most 150mm lenses, which are big and heavy, this one is pretty small and compact. It is autofocus, and it autofocuses quite well, even with the ND filter on the front. Of course, you have to step back quite a ways to get your subject in the picture, but the results are definitely worth it. I went for a 70s look for a couple of these pictures. I like this look. It brings back memories. All I did was change the white balance. As small lenses go, this one is pretty heavy because it's got a lot of metal and glass in it. But that means it's a really good construction and you're going to get good quality pictures with it. It's a very well made lens and I think most people would be quite happy using this lens. Especially when they're out in nature like this, shooting beautiful things. Okay, time for the Samsung 30mm f2. The camera is a Samsung NX500. This little lens is so small, it's like the size and weight of a lens cap. It even has autofocus, but I focus manually when I darken the image with ND filters and polarizing filters. You'd think this is a cheap lens, but it's not. I am amazed at the quality of pictures this lens can put out. A 30mm APS-C lens is equivalent to a 50mm in full frame, which is a great all-around, all-purpose lens that you can carry around and just be ready to take any picture. It's wide enough to take landscape shots so you can get those beautiful epic vistas with enough room to breathe in the pictures. But the lens is also long enough to take portraits. The clarity and detail is amazing with this sensor. And because it acts more like a 50 millimeter full frame lens, you can get up close to someone's face with it and it won't distort their face. So it's a great all-around mid-range all-purpose lens and it's so small. At f2 you're not going to get blurry backgrounds when you're shooting your subject full body because you're too far away. But as you get closer and closer the backgrounds do start becoming softer and softer. It's fun to take this camera and this lens around. It doesn't weigh anything. It literally fits in your pocket. If you look at it you think this is a cheap little lens but the quality this thing takes is so good. I am just tickled pink with this little lens attached to this little camera, which is so lightweight, so small, it literally fits in your pocket. And then with this little tiny flash trigger on top, you've got a powerful little camera system that you could whip out at any time and take some really good pictures. Of course, this lens also fits on the more professional Samsung NX1, which has a viewfinder and has all the bells and whistles you could ever want on a camera. The NX1 is probably the slickest APS-C camera ever made. The revolutionary sensor, even though it came out a few years ago, is bigger and more powerful than any sensor in a Sony 6000 series, even the 6400. So anybody that has a Samsung NX camera, I highly suggest getting the 30mm f2. 
and not going anywhere without it. Again, this is just for fun stuff. I use my Sony 6400 and full frame cameras for serious stuff when there's a lot at stake. But I like to play around. I love cameras. I like to just play with all kinds of cameras. So that was our little thing for today. Thanks for joining us. And uh, thanks again for the people for recommending these two wonderful lenses. That's what this uh, internet and the community is all about, is for recommending things and sharing our experiences so we could find more of what works for us. Uh, I really like these lenses. They're really good. And thanks for you guys. And uh, thanks for the feedback. And I'll see you in the next video at Marcus Picks. Uh, uh, uh.